come in and have a cup of tea while you're waiting? Oh, thanks, Mr. Thomas. Yeah, he shouldn't be long. Bob called him about 20 minutes ago. Bob did. That's who it was. Sorry? Rex and all that jogging gear. No, Rex is in his room. Well, he can't be. Well, he hasn't had his breakfast yet. Uh, can I just check? What do you want to do? 
I can leave your clothes and everything, so if you'd like to risk it... <laughs> still very early. You should be all right.
to. Make sure you know his whereabouts at any one time. And three, make sure he doesn't sneak off the moment your back is turned. <laughs> Right on the streets. 
If there's a menace to the community, it must be locked up and, if necessary, destroyed. Michael! Michael, I'm scratching! No, you couldn't be. I am. What am I going to do? Oh, you are. You're scratching away like anything. you better get out. I can't! We'll get down. The kind of animal who would trample your washing as soon as look at you. But I can tell you he's securely locked up. And what's more, I will make sure he never sees the light of day again. So the most important thing about owning a dog is to make sure he's properly trained. There's a dog, miss. It's Michael's dog. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Right. Where is he? Right now, keep back, everyone. This dog is supposed to be an RSPCA custody. I put him there myself. He's a stray and he's going to be put down. I don't think he's a stray. I think he belongs to Michael. Yes, he's mine, actually, miss. This dog is dangerous. Now, keep back, everyone, while I try and apprehend him. Okay, now, let me through. Uh, Mr. Garrett, he's usually a very good little dog. He's dangerous and he's a threat to the public safety. Come here, you little snake. everywhere. You have to walk to heel. Can't let him see without me or your dad. No more trips out on your own. Probably better off just hiding in your room. I mean, what a Wally, honestly. Nah, you just been nice. It was his own fault. What if they'll show the program? You're right. Wouldn't be a documentary. It'd be a sitcom. You thought you'd try and stop me, eh? <laughs> well, you can't. They're going to shut <laughs> You went to all that trouble to try and stop them filming me. But I've spoken to the director and he tells me they're going ahead with it. In fact, he told me he couldn't have asked for it to turn out better. It's going to be sensational. Uh, that's great, Mr. Garrett. Can we get past, please? And don't think you can get away with that behaviour. Because you're not. I'm going to tell the police, the school, the local shopkeepers, the social services, in fact, everybody about you. I'm going to make your life so miserable you're going to regret the day you ever met me. Oh, you can sit there thinking you're so smart and so clever. But one day, oh, maybe not today, maybe not even this year, but one day you're going to put a paw wrong. And when you do, I'm going to... Who are you? Come on. Take care of the dog. And remember, a dog's for Christmas, not just for life. Come on, George. He's really got it in for you, isn't he? I mean, it's not as though you've done anything to him. Well, not on purpose anyway. I mean, it's entirely his own fault. He was just victimising you, that's what it is. I mean, fancy thinking you'd upset him on purpose. 